Chaos in the streets. 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 Hunger in your teeth. Strong from the weak. Nature of the beast. Chaos in the streets. Hunger in your teeth. Strong from the weak. Nature of the beast. Uh, I've been tattooing for about eight years professionally, probably about 13 years, you know, total. It seems like black and gray tattooers, when you're coming up, you know, you're always like following certain people and trying to mimic what they're doing. So guys like Bob Tyrell, you know, they would be using pelicans, so I'd use pelican. And I heard they were using talons, so I'd use talons, you know. I found black and gray tattoos sometimes ended up being gray and gray tattoos and I uh, stumbled upon Silverback Ink through another artist I was working with, I can't remember exactly who it was. And uh, I just found that the, uh, the heel tattoos were a, were a true black and gray, like uh, a good contrast between the tones. To, to anyone who's you know not using the product and thinking of switching to the product, you know whether whether they're using one of those you know drawing inks to do their black and gray right now, like not that I'm hating on what anything what anybody does, you know, to each their own, but I feel like the wide range of black inks that they offer can substitute or like help you make make the move into silverback by just selecting the right one. Like if you use, you know, something like Pelican, it's a very thin consistency, it's almost watery, you know what I mean? Go with like the triple X black. It's it's not as, you know, opaque or whatever. And uh, you know, if you're if you're using like um, any generic black ink, you know, the black eleven is a pretty like well rounded, just solid black ink, but you know, it's really easy to dilute and everything. Um, Premix gray washes, if you're into that, you know, they have a great range of those. I mean, any like effects you want to achieve, they've got the mold and stuff like that. If you want to get that moldy look to your black and gray. Um, I personally use Stupid Black strictly, that's all I use. I make my own washes, I dilute them with Witch Hazel. I find the Stupid Black is just so black, you know, it's uh, it's perfect as, a, as something to start from and then build down from there with your dilutions and, and when your tattoos heal out they'll have a true, a true like solid black and, and grey shade tone in it. I've used the product for so long and it's a good product, I feel like most of the best black and gray tattooers in the world are using it and uh, to be part of a, a team like that and be sponsored in what I do is, uh, you know, it's almost like going pro. The future for me is, you know, here, I see myself here until until I die. I mean, short of traveling and stuff, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere. I'm going to be here in Nova Scotia in this shop, 330 Main. Uh, it's a great vibe. I love it.